Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to do unit conversions with your TI-89 calculator. Um, and the calculator that, you know, there's different ones you can use. This is the one that I use. This is this guy here. This is 20 years old, an old TI-89. Um, and rather than showing you on a video how to do this, I'm going to pull up an emulator. An emulator simply allows us to uh, simulate the software that's going on in the calculator, but it works the exact same way. So this is what it ends up looking like. Here's our virtual TI-89. Um, okay, in the virtual TI-89, they show it side by side. They chop the calculator into two, basically, um, but it's the same thing. So let's talk about unit conversions first. You can take something like five electron volts and you could turn it into joules if you wanted, right? So to do that, uh, we type in five, and anytime that you're going to actually now type in the units, you always have to start by putting this little underscore green uh, thing. So you hit green, and then mode, and that will put this underscore. And then you can do electron volts, and the shorthand for that is EV. And I'll show you where you find those if you didn't remember that offhand. But you're going to hit alpha, and then the division sign, because that's going to give us E. And then you can do upper for uppercase V. It actually works just as well if you do lowercase, but some I don't think uh, will work just as well. You have to do it correctly. Now when you convert it, you need this little orange two arrow sign. So you're going to go second and mode. That's going to convert it to, we're going to again do underscore because we're talking about units again, and we want it in joules this time, and that's capital J. Okay? And if we hit enter, that converts it into joules. Right? So how did I know what these things were, the E, the V, the joule? So if you go to second and then three, that's going to give us units. Right? Second is orange, and this whole number is in orange. That's why it's getting there. And you can see that it's got a ton of different units built in. Right? So I'm just moving the, the down arrow here. But it's got lots and lots of different types of units that you can look at. Um, pretty impressive, all the different types of units it's got. And on any one of these, if you you know, you click over and you can see the different types of units in that category. So for power, you've got horsepower, kilowatts, and watts, right? Um, let's go back up to say something like time, right? Under time, you've got days, hours, minute, millisecond, nanosecond, week, year. And so these are the, the, uh, the prefixes that you're gonna have to use for these units, okay? So again, for energy, which we just did, we went from electron volts to joules. So EV, and that's joule. So that's how I knew that the V is capitalized. That's just how they defined it in here, okay? It actually works, I think, in that case, if it's upper or lower case. So that is unit conversion. So if you don't remember your units, it's fine. Let's say I wanted to convert, um, say, like a week into seconds. Like how many seconds are in a week? So again, you'd start out, you'd go one, and then if I don't remember what week is, I can just go to second, units, we're gonna go down to time, so there's time. We're gonna to go to one week, and we see that seconds is just underscore s, so I'm gonna do one week. I remember I'm gonna do the second, and then mode, that gives us our little arrow, and then underscore s, so alpha three. Hit enter, and that tells us how many seconds are in a week. So that's how you do your unit conversions, right? This is pretty powerful. 